So I came back here to Harbor Galley Restaurant to have another uh, lobster roll. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be recording another episode of Meal Time Design because I already have five other episodes right now still scheduled to upload. But um, go and check out the lobster roll episode that I did and also the shrimp salad that I got as well. Check them out. Check out the links down below in the description of this video or check out the annotations. All right, so we're going to head into the Star Wars launch bay. Check out some cool stuff in there. Launch bay. A long time ago in the galaxy, far, far away, and then cue the Star Wars music, but I can't because it's copyrighted. Oh well. There we are. So we're taking a break. We're putting some stuff in the car. Also, uh, I was dropping off some stuff in. What is that? What is that? Yes. Star Wars Rogue One coming out in December 2016. Looking forward to it. And I got another toy. Yes. I got the blue lightsaber. Luke and Anakin used. And uh, this is the same type of lightsaber that lights up. Just like the Kylo Ren lightsaber that I have. Oh, I shut it off. Hold on. There we go. So yeah, it's, uh, it basically is a, like motion censored. It's interesting because when I was looking at the behind the scenes of The Force Awakens, they used something very similar to this um, when they made the lightsabers. So it's kind of interesting. But yeah, it does make sound effects like if I hit something. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Not, nothing impressive. I'm going to turn to Star Wars kid, if you know what I mean. <laughs> We're going to be heading back out in just a little bit, go on Hyperspace Mountain and Star Tours. And then after that, we might hit uh, Disney Culper Adventure. So, hope you guys have been enjoying these vlogs so far. And uh, i got to shut this off before the battery runs out. Heading into Hyperspace Mountain, not just Space Mountain. It's now Hyperspace Mountain. Boy, it's an 80 minute wait over there. Yeah, but for us, bam, look at that. And we got some lone drinking fountains right there. I don't think I can record on this ride, so just saying. Bring a force be with you. <laughs> just to let you guys know, I haven't been on this attraction since my early teens. That's a Star Destroyer. Whoa. Looks like we've entered into hyperspace. Well, that's right, we are in hyperspace mountain, duh. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> so there are the ride vehicles down there. That's probably as closest to uh, hyperspace mountains you're gonna see just from the ride vehicles. Oh, we're going to Jakku, okay. And desert climate, much like Tatooine, sparsely populated. Very cool. All right, see you guys on the other side. All right, <laughs> just got back off of space, hyperspace mountain. Holy cow, that thing is wild. Like I said, I haven't been back on that ride since I was like, a teenager and I don't know why I haven't got back on it since but man <laughs> that was unbelievable has it gotten faster or something I don't know anyways it was really neat I really liked it um, and it has a really cool effects if you haven't checked out hyperspace mountain come and check it out so we're taking a break from Disneyland and heading into Disney California Adventure the time right now is about uh, 4 30 so it's not it's a little crowded but you know we'll get through it so you see here Grizzly Peak this looks like characters from Bambi. <laughs> right outside Soarin' Over California. Uh, we got a fast pass for that. We're gonna check that out in a little while. We've been all over the place today. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna be doing because our fast pass is good until 5.55 to like 6.65. So, uh, see what happens. I haven't really filmed any other like um, Real Time Disney episodes while I've been here or um, ride reviews. This is more of a just a vlog type thing. So yeah, this is Ariel's Undersea Adventure. 
going over here. Five minute wait, you can't beat that, right? Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe not a five, five minute wait anymore. <laughs> That's a good idea. I forgot my air tank. You got 20? I got 20. I knew it. Under the sea. Under the sea. Nobody beat us, fry us, and eat us in frigacy. Uh oh. Come the Incredibles. Got the Incredibles there. All right. We're going to check out this exclusive sneak peek for, what is it for? Alice Through the Looking Glass, once again, because I feel like it. So we're, in, we're inside Soarin' Over California. I remember when the Columbia disaster happened. That was sad. I've always thought this propeller was pretty cool. The California Aviators. Lenses of flight. That's probably not going to be here when uh, they change it into soaring around the world. This is barely got it. Well, guess where we're going, folks. We're going to Cars Land. That's where we're going. Radiator Springs. Just the amount of detail in this place is unbelievable. And all the rock work and everything. Gosh. What? Over the Cozy Co Motel, look who's coming. It is Red, the fire truck. All right, so we just left uh, Disney California Adventure and we're heading back into Disneyland because we have, we have reservations in our name at Star Tours. We still have the 60th anniversary banners up here to get a little worn out. I uh, ate a pickle while I was over there. I haven't had a pickle in a long time. And this is a true story. There used to be a restaurant out in Glendale called Billy's, and they used to serve these big, thick pieces of pickle. Well, guess what? This one particular time, I actually lost one of my molars. <laughs> like, I literally lost a tooth because of it. It was weird. I haven't lost anything else since, but uh, it, was, it wasn't like one of my adult molars. Let's just put it that way. Star Tours! We're going on Star Tours! I thought we were at Disneyland, now we're in space. Life, it's a live cam though. Looks like we're ready for another Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Oh, Rex, I miss you, buddy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, the lights are on here in Main Street. Just now coming on. Well, I'd say that's the latest I've ever been to Disneyland. Well, maybe not because 
of I remember back when I was at the hotel, I used to stay at Disneyland up to like eleven thirty. But this has been the latest this year that I've been at Disneyland. It's it was a lot of fun. I was actually with a friend of mine um, from my former college that I used to go to, and um, um, she will go unnamed because she wanted it that way. So I will respect that. Um, but yeah, we had a great time. Sorry if the vlogs got a little bit out of control, like a lot of jump cuts here and there. I realized that because, you know, we I was just spending a lot of time with her and, you know, just catching up and just enjoying the day. Technically, we were going to be doing like a little uh, photo shoot, but that didn't really happen because uh, we, we just had a lot of fun today. And you can you can expect that, right? With two friends, hadn't seen each other for a while, just having a, a fun day at Disneyland. And, uh, yeah, we stayed there till, like, 9 o'clock, and we got, I just got back home. It's, like, 11.30. As you can probably guess, I didn't really get a whole lot of merchandising done, and technically I wasn't really there to get merchandise anyway, but I did get a couple of things. One was the Rogue One t-shirt, which is based on the new Star Wars film that's coming out. Yes, I know, I'm already getting stuff for the new Star Wars film. This is my first one, Rogue One, and I can't forget about this. I am so thrilled because I had a part in this by bringing these back to the parks, the Buena Vista Bugle, I got a few of these. Um, as you can probably guess, I got several because, you know, I like collecting stuff and you never know, something like this in the future could be worth something. And I, I plan ahead. And um, I actually have my whole stack on my Professor Words um, office set to make it look like he's collecting a whole bunch of school newspapers or something. And last but not least, I did get something that's very cool and I have to turn my life for this. That's right, I got Anakin slash Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Um, this isn't the only light-up lightsaber that I have, you guys. You know that for a fact, right? I also have... That's right, Kylo Ren's lightsaber. I got this for my birthday, if you guys remember. Um, I think me and my dad are going to have some lightsaber battles. <laughs> On that note, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. If you like them, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button favor them, share them with your friends, and of course subscribe to my channel, The Design Video Series. It's greatly appreciated. At this time period right now, I have almost 850 subscribers, which I know to some people may not seem like a lot, but for me, uh, it's absolutely amazing. Just having that many subscribers is just unbelievable. So thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. I keep on getting messages from people saying that I help inspire them to do the right thing and to be a good person. I just want to say I applaud you guys because um, it's what I want to do in terms of being able to um, you know, do the right thing. That's what I've always tried to achieve with these videos. I want to show you guys that you have to do the right thing. You have to be that um, person that is always um, you know, trying to do the right thing for everybody else and to do good things uh, and to be nice towards others. When I get messages from people like that, it really does mean a lot. And I will I will mention this. I, I'm pretty sure this person still follow, watches my videos, but there is actually a channel by that says thank you, Sean Allen. I am seriously not joking. And when I saw that, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Is there really a channel by that name? And as and I was it was. And I was like, wow. There is actually a channel. Like I know big YouTubers have channels after them, but to see this for the first time for me was very humbling. Um I, I I mean, words could I express what I saw. Um, and whoever did that, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. It humbles me because I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I don't want to do like something stupid and lose people's trust. Because um, when you lose people's trust, it, it causes you to lose something that, you know, it will make you have a hole, basically. And that hole was caused by losing somebody's trust. So um, I don't want to, you know, affect you guys in a way that, you know, distance us. I want to be able to be an inspiration. I want to be able to um, help inspire a generation to be doing the right thing and to be nice towards others. And of course, I think I said this right, to do the right thing. I mean, that's the main thing. And I believe I'm achieving that goal. And when I get these messages like that, um, I, it really does humble me a lot. And I, I, I try, I do this all the time where I say I don't do this for the fame. I don't do this for any of that stuff. I'm just an average person that does videos for YouTube. I've said that all along.
okay? I've never said, oh, you know, I'm better than you guys. Have you guys heard me say that? No. Um, and you probably never will. In fact, you never will. It means a lot when I get those type of messages that you guys have been inspired to maybe create your own channels and to um, do the right thing. It really does mean a lot when I get those messages because I helped inspire you to do that. And it does mean a lot. So thank you again. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Well, it's late. I got to go to bed. Oh, wait. I got to work on some videos. Thankfully, my semester at CSUN has ended. <laughs> yeah, but the work never stops in terms of being a YouTuber, a full-time YouTuber now. Um, I'll be working late tonight. But I don't care because I enjoy doing it. And it's all for you guys. So... Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time here on the Disneyland video series. And I hope your day was a magical one. Bye-bye!